with spine upright, shoulders braced back, back of the head in line with the spine, eyes gently closed. Let us work on bringing back our blood pressures to normal in case it is a little abnormal, which means from a low blood pressure to normal, from a high blood pressure back to normal, by first doing equal breath, samavritti pranayam, by inhaling fully, exhaling completely without changing the breath much. So we fill our lungs to full capacity without straining ourselves. We empty our lungs completely without straining ourselves. Just like the temperature of the body, there is a particular threshold that the blood pressure also has to remain at. A drop being dangerous, a rise being dangerous, both equally not good. And we're going to work at both today. All we have to ensure at this point is to make sure that our inhales are full and our exhales are empty. The mind often decides, as we all know, the temperatures and the pressure of the body, the temperatures and the pressure of blood. Now there is scientific evidence that sickness of mind, change in temperatures of the body and change in blood pressure creates sickness of the body. We are inhaling fully and exhaling <clears throat> completely in equal breath. Problems, pressures, heartbreaks, stresses, changes are pressure to what is not a regular one. 120 by 80 systolic and diastolic respectively. And from those heartbreaks to healing is what we are working at. We are doing a pranayam by doing samavritti, that is inhale full, exhale complete. Not allowing anything, any emotion, any people to control us. because they will as long as we allow them to. We want to clear years of crap in just these 30 minutes. I repeat, we want to clear years of crap in just these 30 minutes. Crap of people, of mind, of thoughts, of scenes, of situations, of weather, of people, of everything. And for that, we start with Samavritti Pranayam. That's equal breath, full inhale, full exhale. We human beings are designed to design our own lives. And let's do that from this moment onwards.
And we now move on to starting with slow alternate nostril kapalbhati in a twist. So we twist completely to one side. We twist the head once again to bring chin over the shoulder blade. And we do alternate nostril slow kapalabhati with tummy being pulled in on exhalations. This is how it goes. Twist to your full capacity. Make sure shoulders are parallel to the wall on the side that you're twisted on. If there is a wardrobe or a cupboard or anything open or a glass shutter, just make sure shoulders are parallel to that. And the chin is chasing the shoulder blade. And from a sukshma, that is a gentle alternate nostril kapalbhati, we are going to start increasing to a point where we are able to take the strength, the gross, the stronger kapalabhati. Let's increase the speed now. And the intensity. Let's pull the tummy more in now. on the exhalations only. Discontinue, change sides. Immediately start. Here, we are going to do again from sukshma to gross. That is less intense to much more. Slow speed, alternate nostril kapalabhati, Pull the tummy in. Start increasing the speed. Increase the intensity. Those who are prone, continue please. Those who are prone to a low blood pressure will start feeling a little dizzy, vertigo, etc. Those who are prone to high blood pressure will start feeling heaviness in the head, the back, the temples. As I said, now there is scientific evidence that all these sicknesses come from the mind onto the body. And we want to make sure first that the mind is okay so that the body and the blood pressure becomes okay. Increase this intensity and speed. Pull the tummy in. As the secretions of the endocrine system's glands also balance, we will notice that a low blood pressure is coming back to normal, a high blood pressure is coming back to normal, and then normal stays at normal and gets even more resonant. And we come back, bring the hand down. To start with normal kapalabhati, we choose our pace, speed, and intensity, and we change our pace, speed, and intensity. Literally reverting from heartbreak to healing, not allowing people, situations, anyone, the mind to, to control us. Because so far we allowed them and it to, now we don't. We were designed to design our lives. We were designed to design our breaths. 
we are designed to design our blood pressure threshold From this point onwards, start counting in a reverse order from 108. Totally discontinue Kapalabhati now for what is called Swan Pranayam. We control low blood pressure tendency to bring it back to normal by making our Swan Pranayam more intense and high blood pressure tendency to bring it back to normal by doing the Swan Pranayam in a very subtle way. So we currently are only going to do swan pranayam, which is called in the West, the panting dog breath. This is how we are going to go. <laughs> Pulling the tongue out as much as possible, looking cockeyed in the eyes at the nose center. We are going to change our breath, keeping it very, very subtle if we are in a tendency of high blood pressure or any medication of high blood pressure or hypertension. And we are going to make it extremely gentle and low, not gross. If we have a ten I'm sorry, the other way around. We're going to make it extremely gross if we have a tendency to low blood pressure. And I'm going to show you both. In case I have low blood pressure tendency. <laughs> is how I'm going to do. Swan pranayam. In case I have a tendency of high blood pressure. <sighs> I'm going to do it more subtle, slow and more silent. Hypertensives will also consider it as high blood pressure. After both swan pranayams, we're going to use our saliva in case we've not brushed our teeth. Otherwise, we are going to remember that next time before brushing our teeth, we use our saliva as a tonic, as a serum, wherever we wish to, to get rid of a mark, or for the eyes, or for the darkening of the skin, or for that pimple, or for that acne. We have to share this secret even with our children who may be young or adolescents or grandchildren who have pimples and acne, but they need to use much more saliva. <sighs> our saliva, our serum, our tonic, are healing water of life. It's fine to pause, but we got to restart. Discontinue Swan Pranayam, continue keeping eyes closed. Watch the breath. Consciously taking awareness of cool air going up the nostrils on inhales without changing your inhalations. 
consciously taking awareness on the temperatures of the warm air coming out of the nostrils on exhales without changing We're currently watching our breath and we are now going to inhale and exhale. So there is a shift from watch to a mindful inhale and exhale, which is soft and subtle. We're going to start making it gross into a bhastrika. Inhale, exhale. Start introducing a little sound. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pick up speed now. Those who have a tendency to low BP may, may, don't preempt it, but may start feeling a little vertigo, a little dizziness. Don't pick up much speed then. Don't make it too soundful then. Those who are used to high blood pressure or hypertension may start feeling a little heavy in the head, in the temples, in the back of the head. Make it more gentle, more slow, more subtle. And those who are the lucky enough people who do not feel either have to congratulate themselves for doing their pranayam, their asan, those mudras, those bandhas regularly. For telling science who have given us the evidence that sickness is created by the mind, not the body. A vitalizing pranayam, bhastrika is what we are currently doing, having innumerable benefits. We are addressing blood pressure, high and hypertensive to low, besides, of course, the innumerable benefits that it has, bhastrika, and low and hypoglycemias to back to normal. We're going to discontinue Bhastrika regardless of whether we, are, we, we were doing sthul or sukshma, subtle or gross, loud or soft. We are going to discontinue. And we're going to do a little bit of a recap, a revision of what we just did to bring our blood pressures back to normal. We're going to completely twist to one side, twist the head to the other side, twist more, twist more, twist more please, shoulders parallel to the wall there and we are going to do alternate nostril kapal bhati. Say to yourself, I want my shoulders parallel to the wall on the side that I'm twisting in. Then bring back the chin on the shoulder blade, untwisting. 
till we don't address the secretions of our endocrine system's glands with twisting our blood pressures will not come back to normal the other side alternate nostril kapalabhati twist more twist more i'm repeating what i just said twist more twist more till we don't bring back the secretions of our endocrine systems glands our blood pressures will never come back to normal because we will suffer from acidity from flatulence from uh, hypoglycemia from diabetes high blood pressure low blood pressure sleeplessness tossing and turning insomnia panic attacks depressions pcods our ductless glands that is the islets of langer hans the gonads the pituitary the pineal the pancreas the thyroid the thymus have to do the secretions right not more not less and that will happen with twists come back to the center discontinue alternate nostril kapalbhati do normal kapalbhati at your speed your pace your count at this point start counting in a reverse order from 108 now swan prana that's correct that's the posture we need <gasps> discontinue discontinue swan pranayam watch the breath and bring the right hands four fingertips on the pulse of the left hand if we are alive and we often brag about this one adjective i am very sensitive i get hurt very easily we want that sensitivity to turn into sensitivity of feeling our own pulse beats if we are alive if we are breathing if our heart is pumping we got to feel our pulse here on our wrists here we do a count we inhale to a count of 7 pulse beats and exhale to a count of 9 pulse beats
discontinue after the next count of the seven is to nine ratio and actually congratulate yourself for doing something which is not only a breath changing experience, but a life changing experience. These four fingertips of the right hand has actually scanned the entire body's systems, organs, everything of the left hand, on the left hand, at the wrist, through the pulse beats. And we now do again a vitalizing pranayam, which is a revision, the bhastrika, which we did not do before this because I wanted to keep the vitalizing pranayam after the pulse check. So let's do the bhastrika of our choice, the bellows breath of our choice. Pressures can change because moods can yo-yo. So it depends on what the mood is currently. We may use our arms, we may use a twist, we may use our shoulders, a bhastrika pranayam. It's a revision, the bellows breath. It involves full inhale, full exhale. I'm doing a skandha chakra bhastrika. Bringing blood pressures back to normal from a low to a high or a high to a low can be as easy or as difficult as we want to make it out to be. Healing, in fact, from any disease can be as easy or as difficult as we want to make it to, out to be. Let's check in this Bhastrika whether this Half a minute to one minute can change things for us forever. Where life is not the same anymore in case there is any problem or negativity. Literally from heartbreak to healing. With this breath and the next and the next and the next and the next. We are actually designing our own future where breaths are concerned. We are actually celebrating breaths. Celebration does not necessarily mean too gross, too intense, or too sthul. Neither does it necessarily mean too sukshma or too mellow. It's about the joy of the future, of the breath, from this moment onwards. See how literally years of crap changes in this minute. Discontinue, discontinue. We're now going to do something very interesting and we're going to finish off with that. We're going to keep our tongue out folded, going cockeyed. And we're going to inhale. We're going to bring our tongue in and we're going to do a soundful exhale. Eyes open, look cockeyed, tongue out, inhale. Eyes close, bring the tongue in, make a soundful ujjayi, exhale. Three more rounds. Blood pressure balancing kaki pranayam with ujjayis. Blood pressure balancing kaki pranayam with ujjayis.
discontinue to finish today's session with palming. Wrap the palms, cap them on closed eyes, open and close your eyes in darkness. Bring the hands down, slowly open your eyes and rise. Thank you all. Hari Om Tatsan. For those who need to end, exit the chat. You're most welcome, Anjana. Most welcome, everyone else. I'm still here for a few moments to answer the questions because I covered therapy today. Bijal, uh, uh, this is Aarti. Yes, the Aarti. last one. Could you show me how the tongue is rolled when the mouth is open, please? I didn't get it, actually. Our tongue is like a taco. Yeah. Yeah. Take a screenshot if you want. Sure. And from that fold, you inhale. Then take the tongue in, normalize lips are pursed, and you exhale in Ujjayi. Both of these are new for you. The rest of the tribe has done Kaki Pranayam often, but in this new quarter, it's the first time I'm doing it. So don't worry, we'll do it often again. Thank you. Most welcome, Aarti. Yeah, but you're straining yourself. Don't strain yourself, Aarti. Thank you, Vijay. Bye. Most welcome. Aarti, even your exhalations have to be in Ujjayi. Not necessarily a rule, but it was a variation which I gave. It's just a blend which I gave. Okay? <laughs> Thank you all. Hari Om Tatsat. Bye. See you all tomorrow. There is a, a Sushil Kumar. Can you introduce yourself? And I think he's unmuted himself. Is there a question? <laughs>